they found the ashes of Norman Scott Jones in a battered plastic container up a hill in a patch of ivy alongside the westbound 118 freeway in Chatsworth. A label taped to the top said he had been cremated on May 12, 2012 by the Cremation Society of the South Bay, and now here he was more than 10 years later buried in freeway ivy with fast food wrappers, dirty diapers and empty beer cans. Who was Norman Scott Jones and why was he here? What we know is this. It's a sad story with a happy ending. Norman was found on August 8, 2022 by Volunteers Cleaning Communities, a group of local residents who adopted a three-and-a-half-mile stretch of the 118 freeway between Tampa Avenue and Balboa Boulevard, and some adjacent neighborhood streets to keep litter free. They spend two hours in the morning, five days a week, picking up the trash of people who treat freeways and public streets like their landfills. We took Norman back to my house, and began a search for his family, said the group's founder Jill Mather, who worked for 45 years as a vice president. One of the first rules she taught new hires was never walk over debris, pick it up. It was a rule she applied to herself in retirement on her daily three-hour walks during the height of the pandemic. I started to notice how bad the litter problem was, and made it my goal to try to change the mindset of littering in America," she said. Lofty goal, but she's making headway. From one woman taking her morning walk with a grabber and trash bag, BCC has grown to more than 200 members doing the same in neighborhoods all over the valley. Too many people look at picking up litter as a form of punishment, she said.